G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist, this is my mate Todd, we're in his driveway, we're about to undergo a continuation of the Bamboo Bicycle Club frame build kit, whereby we take a box of parts like tubes and lugs and that kind of stuff, glue the whole lot together and hope that the bloody thing stays together to ideally ride as a review bike. Now. We've got some parts laid out here, and if you want to see what's inside this kit, be sure to check out the link in the description below where we show everything in great detail. This video, we're going to go over some of the preparation steps and so on, and in a moment, I'll pass it over to Todd. All right, so today in this video, all we're doing is covering the prep of the tubes prior to uh, dry fit and, and gluing. Uh, we'll cover each of those in a subsequent video. So what you're going to need to prep the tubes are some painter's tape, some kind of measuring device. A well, we're not gonna cut with the Stanley today, but you need a pen and a Sharpie in my view, and you need your manual, which is quite thorough. This has the entire build measurements in it. Um, and if you're like me, not only do you need reading glasses, you might also need a magnifying glass to actually read these numbers. But for each tube, there are seven tubes in this kit. Each tube has a measurement on this diagram of how much needs to be trimmed at the end of a tube to make it fit flush into all the lug pieces. So for this process, you start with your measuring device and you refer to your chart. This is the top tube. It's labeled by the company. And here we're gonna, we need to go in 45 millimeters from each end. That's what needs to fit inside the lug. So the first thing is to do that measurement and then make your line uh, all the way around. The second step will be to mark with painter's tape right on that line. Uh, that's gonna be your real determined marking of where you're going to be eventually scoring and shaving. After that, advice in the manual, which I did read, uh, is to put several layers of electrical tape at that same mark level all the way around. What this does is build up the surface a little bit and kind of gives your uh, knife an edge to work against. So the, fir the first thing you're gonna do after, when we start in the next video, will be to score a line all the way around on each tube, and then we'll begin to remove material. And you'll see that next video. The other thing they recommend is that uh, after you've done the marking and the electrical tape that you cover each tube to prevent any kind of damage during the construction process and that you leave the tube covered until construction and assembly is finished. That being said, my advice is to look at each tube carefully. Bamboo is a natural product, so it has different kinds of surfaces, imperfections, colorations. You might want to decide which joint goes where, which side goes up and down, et cetera, based on the appearance of the tube. So you might prefer to have the only joint of tube be at the top or the joint at the top be closer to the lug versus the bottom. There might be coloration on one side of the bamboo. You want that up showing because it's nice variegation. You want it down on the downside to hide that. So that's something I would do. And then you can mark that with a Sharpie. I would also label before you cover the entire thing. You want to label the tube which, which is the top end, which is the bottom end, which is the front, back, et cetera, how, whatever kind of system you devise. I've got my own system here that you can see on some of these that I've, I've marked up as to what's gonna go where um, in the final assembly based on the appearance of each tube. Uh, interestingly, the chain stays for this kit are actually made of bamboo, but they're reconstructed bamboo. So this is bamboo laminate uh, that's been used for the chain stays. So if you're planning a build where a cable or a hydro has to go through the chain stay, that's not going to work with this bike. It'll ha it has to be external there. You can run cables through the down tube. Um, the top tube, I believe the lug doesn't have any openings for top tube running, but you can definitely do both sides of the down tube. Um, there is uh, ports in the bottom bracket cluster as well to permit uh, routing cables and, and hydro lines there as well. Mate, I've got a real quick question. Yeah. Is a tube the same as a tube? <laughs> I, just want I, I, I mispronounced my use. It's, 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 it's my Midwest accent, is apparently. Is it Puma or Puma? I don't know. <laughs> right, is it not. Emu or Emu? We both know it's Emu. <laughs> All right, well, I think that wraps it up for me on this episode, and we'll see you next time when we're going to do our uh, real tube prep with shaving, sanding, filing, and dry fit into the lugs. Folks, another piece of the puzzle is complete. This is the 
all carbon fiber fort for this particular project. It's by Surly. It's the midnight, what the hell is it? Special, midnight special. Midnight special, all carbon fork. Notice it's tapered and there's also several mounts on either side of the fork and the brake housing runs internally and exits just above the front flat mount brake caliper. What a mouthful and a lovely fork.